Here is a tutorial for a simple sawmill setup in Lumber Tycoon 2 intended for newer players in the game. Stay tuned for a more advanced version in the future. What is up YouTube? Bunny Films here with a brand new video and today we are here with a simple tutorial for how to make a simple sawmill setup for a simple player like maybe you. So this video is aimed for newer players in the game and just to show you how cheap this setup is, it's literally $505, let me get rid of this chat for a second, it's literally $505 for all these sawmill parts and then um, the sawmill's not included obviously because that's expensive and it can vary but this tutorial again is just aimed for newer players but i will have a video and maybe a week or so out about making a more complicated setup potentially using logic to sort wood or to just do other cool things with time delays and stuff like that there are also cool things you can buy to actually detect different types of wood, which we'll be using in those videos as well. But again, this is a simple setup just to remake that video I made a few years ago about making a simple sawmill setup. We're going to go ahead and go over the parts you need for this, and then I'll show you how to assemble it. So for this build, you'll need one funnel conveyor two straight conveyors and three tilted conveyors. These can all be purchased at Wood or Us for very cheaply. So go there, buy these parts if you wanna make this, but let's go ahead and show you how to make it. So you probably only have one plot of land if you are just starting off in the game, but if you do have $505 plus a sawmill, you can go ahead and build this. What we're going to start off by doing is we are going to place four blueprints like this if you don't have blueprints you might have to count this manually but we have these four here just to measure the length of the output for the sawmill and then we're going to put the sawmill right here so to place the sawmill we are going to get two large floors and place one right here and stack another blueprint on top like so that way it is two studs high like this and once it's like that we can go ahead and actually grab the sawmill and the sawmill might vary in size depending what you have but assuming you're a newer player you might have a sawmill just like this and we're going to place it so the edge of the sawmill is touching these um this line of four blueprints we have right here and starting from the front, we're going to go ahead and grab two straight conveyors. And these, you don't really matter how you place them as long as they are the right side up. You know, they're the right side up because they have this little uh, notch on top like so, or it gets thinner on the top because that's part of like the little rails so the wood doesn't fall off. Next, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves the funnel conveyor, which is slightly cheaper than the straight conveyor, but literally the same. It's just, it has a wider mouth right here where you can go ahead and easily put wood onto it. Next step, we're going to go ahead and grab the last straight conveyor and put this right against the sawmill like so. You might have to rotate it so it's actually level because sometimes there are issues with placement, but there we go. And then make sure the little arrow is pointed in the right direction, pointed away from the sawmill because this is where the wood is going out. Then we're going to go ahead and grab the three tilted conveyors and just build them straight up like so. And then you will have a complete setup. You want to make sure that each tilted conveyor is higher than the one you previously placed, like so. That way it makes a ramp. And the reason we want a ramp is that way it can easily be loaded into any vehicle if you park it underneath here. We can go ahead and destroy these three blueprints and the ones underneath the sawmill to get ourselves the complete setup. You can go ahead and build blueprints under here if you don't want to have a floating sawmill like this, but this is just to show you how to make a very simple setup if you are a very simple player in the game. Now let's go ahead and test it out. So here we have some oak wood, which is a pretty simple and standard wood in the game. Um, this tr this uh, sawmill will be able to fit it. However, there are trees in this game that the fair sawmill, which I have, does not work with, such as walnut wood and other types of thick wood, even like lava wood, it does not fit in there, which is why you should upgrade your sawmill once you can afford to do so, because then you can unlock really good woods in the game, like lava wood again. But let's go ahead and head back here and I'll show you how this setup works. And because it is elevated, it is really convenient to just park the car, you just like drive it against there in reverse until it is completely, I guess, parallel with the sawmill setup, I guess, I don't know. And then once you have it here, all you literally do is actually hold on you want to make sure that your sawmill is set to the biggest size of wood possible um like this just because then it's the smallest piece possible then we can go ahead and just slide these onto here like so 
and you have a sawmill setup that is working. There isn't really much you can do with such a simple setup. I mean, a lot of other setups are pretty stand or pretty um, similar, I would say, because I mean, there's not much you can do with so little money, but it's nice to have a very simple setup that can help you uh, easily sawmill wood that way you're not wasting time loading it into your car it would also be helpful if you did have a car on this end so maybe you buy another spawner or you have your friend's car there because you can always park your car underneath the sawmill and then just easily load it into your car without having to pick the wood up like i just had to let me show you what that would look like really quickly so you just basically park out front and then drive back in reverse like this and then the wood just automatically fall in your car like this. This would also work with other trucks, but again, um, you'd have to have another vehicle for that or just dump the wood there and then drive the wood around to the back or drive the car around to the back. And now we can go ahead and sell our oak wood for more money because if you know, sawmilled money or <laughs> my words sawmill wood sells for more money than just regular wood straight from a tree and then again sawmilled wood is also good for um if you're trying to fill in blueprints because you can't just fill it in with straight logs you have to have an actual sawmill but that is it for today's video everyone if you did enjoy consider pressing the like button or subscribing um i'm really happy with how this levitating sawmill setup did turn out but again it is pretty simple and for some of the players watching this video you might not find it helpful because it is so simple i will have a video out in the next week or so of a setup that involves much more complicated things for those who have more money to spend and also the knowledge that would be required to build such a complicated setup using logic but again it's not that complicated it's just more complicated than just placing sawmills I do also owe shoutouts to all of my Discord server boosters and channel members. If you do join my Discord, you do get access to a free lum uh, private server in Lumber Tycoon 2, along with notifications of when I am recording so you can join and be in a video. So shoutouts go out to Bubba1025, Finbar, FishFish700, Nizab, Nickel Plate Railroad, ProGamerDago, Rich, Sub to Bunny or No Cookies, Surf, Smart, and the ISS. So thank you everyone for watching. Please subscribe so we hit 100,000 and I will see you later. Goodbye. I have to wait for the animation to finish playing so it looks better. Okay, yeah. Goodbye.